And delays and technical glitches with the government's rollout of the new FAFSA form are causing a massive headache for students. This as SNAP and DocuSign announced major job cuts. ABC News business reporter Alexis Christophorus has more on that and your other business headlines. Alexis, what are you watching today? This is really tough for folks applying to college right now, Diane. So fewer people are applying for student financial aid because of delays and technical glitches with the government's rollout of the new FAFSA form. So college financial aid applications are down nearly 60% according to Department of Education data. And these delays are now upending the usual college admissions timeline. Students may have to choose a college without knowing how much it will cost them and colleges are either delaying or considering delaying that May 1st deadline for students to accept an offer of admissions. Meantime, Dartmouth says it will once again require SAT and ACT scores for admission after suspending the standardized exams because of the pandemic. A new study conducted by Dartmouth found test scores could have actually helped less advantaged students gain access to the Ivy League school. And more job cut announcements in in the hard hit tech sector. Snapchat's parent company is laying off more than 500 workers while DocuSign is cutting 440 jobs. They join a long list of tech companies tightening their belts after going on a hiring spree during the pandemic. So far this year, more than 30,000 job cuts have been announced in the tech sector alone, including at Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. McDonald's and Starbucks say the Israel-Hamas war is hurting sales at their locations in the Middle East. Both CEOs have defended their companies publicly against these accusations. The McDonald's CEO calling the backlash disheartening and ill-founded. Some customers have also taken to social media to complain about something else. Recent price hikes at McDonald's U.S. locations, including an Egg McMuffin costing over seven bucks and a Big Mac combo meal priced at nearly $18. Now, McDonald's CEO is promising what he calls, quote, attention to affordability in the new year. He says the Golden Arches will offer more discounts on its mobile app. For now, the company's trying to bring back customers with its popular Shamrock Shakes. They are available now earlier than in the past, a full six weeks, Diane, before St. Patrick's Day. You can get yourself a Shamrock Shake. All right. Getting into the spirit early. <laughs> I guess so. Alexis, thank you. You're welcome. And if you have any finance questions for Alexis, leave a message on our Instagram feed at ABC News Live, and she might answer your question right here on Thursday. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.